Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama me. <laughs> in your last letter, you asked me if it's a call in Chicago and if I'm still wearing my summer underwear. Yes, Mama me, I'm still wearing my summer underwear. I'm also wearing my winter underwear. <laughs> To tell the truth, the mamma me is so cold, I'm wearing all of my underwear. <laughs> you know, winter underwear is funny. And the label is to say 75% wool, 25% cotton. It's a don't say where they put it, 25% of cotton. <laughs> but when I'm going to go out in the street and I call the windows and push me in the back, I'm going to find out. <laughs> You know, Mamma Mia, they call it Chicago the Windy City. And uh, believe me, they're not the fooling. Yesterday, I took a walk to the post office with Pasquale's fat daughter, Rosa. We was to turn the corner, a big wind is suddenly catch us. And if I didn't hide the quick behind the Rosa, you son of Luigi, you would have now been in New York. <laughs> but uh, still, there is something that's so nice about the winter in a big city. You walk in the streets, all bundled up. People, they all smile on you. Beautiful white snow is all around. It's under your feet. It's piled up on the side. And if the little kids, they see you first, it's come down on your head. <laughs> well, Mamma Mia, I'm going to finish this letter later because right now I'm going to go to my night school. And as it looks so nice outside, I think I'm, I'm going to walk. America, I love you. You like the papa to me from the ocean You look so good tonight. Oh, oh, your face is all flushed and your eyes are shining. Yeah, either you are extra healthy, Luigi, or you got it a fever. <laughs> well, uh, I'm a took a long walk to school today. You all should try to walk to school some day. The exercise is good for you. All right, it's a deal. The next time you walk to school, Luigi, we're going to walk with you. Hello, class. Oh, Hello, Miss Rose. Well, I see this time you all got here before me. Yeah. Well, it was so beautiful out tonight, I decided to walk. Himmel, tomorrow I am selling all my streetcar stock. <laughs> I wish you'd let me in on the joke, class. Well, Miss Spalding, I'm explaining to you. Just before you came in, the whole class has decided to do a little exercise and walk to school tomorrow. What whole class? I was drafted. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful idea, Miss Spalding? Yes, I think it's very sensible. Tomorrow you'll all be walking to school together. Yeah, and if we don't show up, you can blame it on an open manhole cover. <laughs> I take it you don't like the idea of walking, Mr. Schultz. Oh, it's not that, Miss Spalding. I got nothing against exercise. But if you got to do it, you should do something that's got some fun with it. Uh, like, well, uh, like ice skating, for instance. Well, that sounds sensible. Sure, oh, by Jiminy, I haven't used my skates in years. 
Look, everybody, now we're getting someplace. Why don't we forget about the walking business? Instead, let's all go ice skating next Sunday afternoon in Washington Park. Well, now you are talking. If I got to catch the grip, I might as well get it enjoying myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, uh, how, how about you? Well, uh, well I'm a don't know. In my town, Castellamare, it was always a warmer. It wasn't no ice. And, uh, and I'm a don't know how to skate. Oh, it's easy, Mr. Basco. I'm sure, Luigi, you just glide out with the right foot. And then what? Then we pick you up and you try it on the other foot. <laughs> You're going to love ice skating. Well, uh, well, all right, I'm going to try. Say, my wife Esther loves skating. Do you mind if I bring her along, fellas? Oh, yo, and uh, uh, I would like to bring my wife along, too. Uh, Miss Balding, how about you? Don't be ridiculous, though. Miss Balding ain't got no wife. Smile, <laughs> <laughs> Well, Miss Balding, you didn't say yes yet. We'd like to have you. Well, uh, well, Sunday I have a luncheon date with Mr. Charles, the mathematics teacher. Of course, bring him to the lake. He's going to see plenty of beautiful figures there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, class, we'll come. Wonderful. Well, we're all set now, and... Oh, <clears throat> Luigi. Oh, oh, you're the same problem. Yeah. A girl for Luigi. What are you talking about? This is Sunday. I was also have a date with... Uh, John McCarthy. That's a nice little girl. She's a waitress, a friend of mine. Well, how do you like that, Rena? She missed her. <laughs> Without telling us, he's learning to be more and more like an American. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, are you going to say that again, Schultz? Hey, you want to hear something? Yeah. All right, listen to this. <whistles> oh, hooray for the Rena. <laughs> Believe me, nobody could have called a taxi like me. Well, we all knew. <laughs> we'll have a wonderful time. Well, now, class, it's time to begin our lesson for the evening. Yeah, all, all right, Miss Pauline, but uh, don't you forget about the Sunday. That's the day. Yeah, and until then, like we say on the skating rink, bottoms up. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, just look on you. Cheeks red like a cherries, eyes bright like two black grapes, nose hanging down like a beautiful ripe banana. <laughs> That's a funny thing, how all that fruit could grow on one little pumpkin hand. <laughs> I want to stop it, Pasquale. But hey, hey, Pasquale, uh, guess, guess what I'm going to do this is Sunday. Uh, jump off a building? No. <laughs> a rubber bag? Oh, no. Come on, Pasquale. I'm going to give you a hint. Is there something I'm never did before in my life? Is it going to happen in a lake? And, and, and I'm a little nervous because... I'm going to do it just the same. Luigi, I ain't going to let you commit suicide. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you always are looking on the worst side of things. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to ice skating. Ice skating? Yeah, that's right. The whole classes are gone. They're taking their wives, and Miss Spalding is going to bring her boyfriend. That's wonderful, Luigi. Have a good time. <laughs> Thank you. And just so you shouldn't hurt yourself, I'm going to give you something big and soft that you can fall on in case you slip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice, Pasquale. What are you going to give me? <laughs> My daughter, Rosa. <laughs> No, it's nothing to do. Once Rosa is a put her feet on that ice, eh, the lake is going to be closed for skating and open up for swimming. <laughs> now, wait, Luigi. You know Rosa's not really fat. She's just round and uh, uh, round. Here, <laughs> yeah, trouble is, she's round and round, and where she's a stop, and nobody knows. <laughs> Listen, you little papa squeak. Yeah, but I'm please, a... no, please, Pascal, it's no use to argue. I'm already have a date with a nicer girl, John McCarthy. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go out and get us some skates. All right, go, go, get your skates. You... Uh, skates? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a minute, my little cabbage puss. What? Uh, maybe you're right if you don't want to take a rosa. After all, that's a free country. You got a right to go ice skating with any girl you want. 
You sure you feel all right, Pasquale? <laughs> sure, I feel fine, and I want you sure to feel good too, Luigi. Uh, so I'm going to help you out. All right, how you, how, how you going to do this? Well, I don't like you should spend your money on skates, so I'm going to lend you mine. How's that? Pasquale, you got a skate? Sir? Hell, sure. And I'm not going to lend you the old-fashioned kind with the long blades no. on the bottom. That's for beginners. Well, uh, well uh, what the kind of skates do you got, Pasquale? The professional kind oh. with the four wheels on the bottom. <laughs> well, Pasquale, don't everybody have the longer blades? Oh, no, just the peasants what I can't afford better. Oh, well, uh, Look, well, look, uh, would you rather have a sleigh or an automobile? Well, of course, I'm rather have automobile. All right, the sleigh has long blades, automobile has four wheels. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh, I guess you're right, the Pasquale. Sure, and with these skates, you can skate the four times as fast. <laughs> Luigi, you're going to show off for plenty. Oh, thank you, thank you, Pasquale. And that's not all, Luigi. No? I'm going to lend you all of my ice skating stuff. Are you are? Sure, you're going to need a long stick with a nail on the end. Uh-huh. That's going to help you keep your balance. My what? Oh. Yeah, and then I'm going to lend you my water wings to wear in the back. Oh, Squally, what, what the fuck? I'm going to need water wings in the back. Well, everybody's aware of them, Luigi. In case you fall down, you bounce right up again. <laughs> oh, Pasquale. Pasquale, thank you. You think of everything. Oh, that's not uh, all. You get the whole works of the compass, the Indian blanket, the lunch pail, everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you wonderful. You wonderful. I'm going to look real good at this Sunday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, take my word for it. When you skate with a Joanne on the ice, nobody's going to look out of her. All eyes are going to be out of you. Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll make every day of the new year more enjoyable for you. It's simple. Just be sure that wherever you are, wherever you go, you have a package of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum with you. Just tuck it into your purse or pocket, and whenever you want a little taste treat or you're feeling tense or want to freshen your mouth, just take out your package of Wrigley Spearmint Gum and Chew a Stick. You'll enjoy the delicious, real spearmint flavor. You'll enjoy the smooth, good chewing. And you'll agree that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a friendly, helpful companion. So, folks, remember, for an easy, inexpensive way to make every day more enjoyable, always carry a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. So, Mamma Mia, tomorrow I'm going to go ice skating with my class and a girl. And, and it's hard to tell you how I'm feeling. But Squally has told me I should meet the Joan on the lake to surprise her. So I'm going to do that. Oh, Pasquale, he's been a wonderful friend to me, Mamma Mia. He's given me everything to wear for ice skating. And yesterday, I'm a put on everything he's given me, and I'm a look at myself in the mirror. And I guess what I'm a did that's right. I'm a lefty. I'm a look so silly. Oh, wait, here comes my friend Schultz. Luigi, my fellow boober. Oh, hello, Schultz. Oh, Luigi, I'm so excited about that ice skating tomorrow. You got no idea. There's nothing like a lot of exercise in the cold open air to bring out the pneumonia in me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, smile. Uh, tell me, Luigi, it's a Sure, Anne, all excited about the ice skating? Oh, sure, sure, but then... Mm, the... But, uh, but what? Well, uh, well, well, you know, Schultz, I've never been ice skating before. How, how am I supposed to act with a girl on the lake? Ah, Luigi, that's simple. <laughs> First, you get together and you hold her hands. Huh? I'm, I'm a hold of her hands? Uh, sure. Then when you are skating together a little bit, you put, uh... One arm around her waist. <laughs> One arm around the waist. <laughs> and then, then you hold her tight. Hold her tight? Uh, sure, someone got to do all that. 
Now, sure, Luigi, what do you think there is to skating? Just skating? <laughs> well, all right. Then uh, after that, what time I do? Himmel, you are a beginner, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, when you are together with the crowd, you do what every other normal boy and girl do. Sure. What's that? Get lost. <laughs> you separate yourself, you skate with her to a quiet spot on the edge of the lake where nobody can see you. Uh-huh. And then you sit down. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> What's the matter? The ice is a call. <laughs> now you said it's something. That's just what your end is going to say. Luigi, the ice feels cold. Luigi, warm me up. Huh? <laughs> and that's your chance. Oh. And of course, then, then... You know what to do. Sure, sure. I'm opening up my thermos of bottle and I'll give her some hot chocolate. <laughs> Himmel, how is it possible a country that gave us such a lover like Rudolf Valentino could give us such a schlemiel like you? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, so it looks like I'm going to be, what do you call it? A wet the blanket, huh? Ah, that's all right, Luigi. The more instructions from me and you're going to be an electric blanket. <laughs> now, don't you worry. When we get there, I'm going to show you what to do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you shoes. You're really friendly. Ah, it's nothing, Luigi. Well, i got to go now. <laughs> Smile, Luigi. Be like me. Huh? Always happy. Always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> hey, Schultz! Hello, Horowitz! The way they're going to skate over to you. What's this mixed up? Whoa! What happened? My feet stopped, but the rest of me didn't. <laughs> Hello, all of it. Hello, George. Hello, George. Oh, 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 that feels so to you. Anything in this air? Phew. Oh, and with all these pretty girls skating around, I feel just like a yolly boy all over again. <laughs> Schultz, what are you doing flat on your back? This is my natural skating position, Orson. What else? <laughs> One more flop like this, and I'm going to be like a sardine. Boneless and skinless. <laughs> help me up, hurry. Olsen, uh, where's your wife? Uh, well, uh, Olga had to go downtown to see her sister. <laughs> How about your wife, Horowitz? Oh, uh, she, uh, she thought it would be nice if she stayed home and prepared a hot supper for me. And Schultz, uh, where's your wife? Uh... She decided to uh, stay and watch the Delicatessen store. <laughs> Ooh, are we a bunch of sneaky ones? <laughs> oh, that's just like I said. This air certainly does something to you. <laughs> Look, fellas, here comes Miss Foley. Hello, everybody. Isn't the eyes wonderful? Well, what, what are you staring at? Well, to be pleasantly frank, Miss Folding, in that short skating skirt, you're a knockout. Oh, thank you. Yo, Miss Folding, when, when, when I look at you, I, I, I just can't help singing. There was you in January. <laughs> Like a dope in the classroom, I've always been sitting in the last row. <laughs> All right, class, attention. I, I mean, well, I I'll just skate around and look for Mr. Charles. Who is she kidding? Mr. Charles has probably got his binoculars out right now looking for her. <laughs> Say, fellas, look. That fellow over there who looks like an explorer. <laughs> Can that be Luigi? No. Give me a whole lot of things. Hello, friends. Well, uh, why are you all looking at me like that? Luigi, where did you get those roller skates? Pasquale. And what are the water wings for? 
Uh, that's a sign we can bounce up. <laughs> and the compass? A squally says that's it to help him escape in a one direction. <laughs> you that long stick with the nail on the end, that's the harpoon whales? <laughs> Shimmer, Luigi, has that Pasquale got you for shimmer? <laughs> so I, I, I can see you what Pasquale tried to do. Well, Luigi, that's a good thing your aunt is not here yet. Now, now, first of all, you, you throw away the stick. Yes. Shh, quick, here she comes. Yeah. Put that compass in your pocket. All right. Uh, and I'm going right. to take the rest of the things off you, yeah, Luigi. Yeah, quick. Uh, good. Just in time. Yeah, that's... Uh, but wait, wait. What am I going to do about the roller skates? Uh, uh, just stand still. She wouldn't see them. Like... Like this? Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Now, quick, here right. she comes. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello, 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 Joanne. Hello, uh, Joanne. You, you know my friends. This is uh, Mr. Horowitz, uh, Mr. Olsen, and, uh, and uh, Mr. Schultz. Hello. Hello. Well, uh, last one to the clubhouse is a hot mess. Huh. I wonder why they, why they left us like that. Well, I don't mind. Do you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, Joanne, you, you, you may be a little cold. No. Are you? Yes, I, I'm, I'm in a no. No. You sure you're not cold? Of course not. Why? Well, uh, well, if you say you're cold, then I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we skate? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to stand here a little bit. Well, all right, but what'll we do? Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to ask you if you call it, then I take your hand, uh, and if you drink the hot chocolate, I'm supposed to triple you up, and if nothing happens, then I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna, oh, that the shoes, he's, he's a guy to me all of a shimmel. <laughs> oh, oh, Luigi. All right, but, but we're gonna have a fun anyway, huh, Joanne? Hiya, cutie. Uh, who's it this? Oh, ignore him, Luigi. I don't know who he is. How about dancing a few steps with me, babe? I'm not interested. Ah, oh, come on. Just dance a few steps. Listen, she's a toddler. She's not interested. If you want to dance, go find her at the Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that cornball. <laughs> All right, cutie. Just watch this figure eight. Don't get any eyes on my face. <laughs> Sorry, Mac. Hearty appetite. <laughs> How about you, Buster? Can you do it? No, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to wiggle in my ears. <laughs> hey, they ought to get you to play Harvey in that picture. <laughs> Honey, just watch this trick. Mmm, you sure can skate. Yeah, that's right. Don't get in the eyes of my face. <laughs> oh, it couldn't be helped, Mac. Well, baby, how did you like that one? She's a no like it. Let her talk for herself, Buster. Hey, cutie, watch the trick that won me first prize last year. Luigi, what are you standing around watching him for? Let's go. Hello. No, no, no. I'm going to carry John. Let the him go away. Here I come. Don't go to the ice on my face. <laughs> Well, Treebolt, you want to take a spin with me? Listen to Mr. Buster, why don't you beat it? Ah, oh, go on and beat it yourself. Let's see how fast you can go on your skates. Hey, am I seeing things? Roller skates. What? Roller skates. <laughs> Mamma mia. Excuse me, Luigi. Oh, handsome, I want to talk to you. Wait a minute. No, Joanna, wait. Wait, the Joanna. Oh. If I'm a hydrated Pasquale here, I would have dropped the whole world on him. I would, I would. No reason, my friend. Pasquale! 
Papa, sorry, and nobody worse than you in it. Oh, you're whole... mad, huh? Because you girl is the left of you, eh? Go on, now go after me. I'm, I'm, I'm going home. No, no, don't go home, Luigi. I brought another girl for you. Just to wait there, I'm going to call her. Rosa! 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 Yes, my little son, Jehaney. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Mama. Gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Joanna, how was the thought of you went away with that with that a big fella? Sure I did, and I told him plenty. It won't bother us anymore. Hey, you mean you, you mean you'd rather be with me than a him? Why, of course, Luigi. I'll hold my hand. We'll head for the edge of the lake. All right, Joanna. Hey, wait a minute. Come back, Luigi. Those are my roller skates. Rosa, come on. We gotta stop. Them. All right, Papa. Uh, please, uh, mister, get out of my way. Oof. Oh, Jasper! Jasper, I'm falling! <laughs> Come on, Mommy, the ice is a crack. <laughs> hey, mister, what's the matter with you? Why are you pushing me into my daughter? I told you not to get a knife on my face! <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, everything is come out of fine. You should have had that ice cracking under us. It was a sound like a Chicago was a have earthquake. <laughs> but I don't worry, Ross is a no follow through. The ice was a frozen a 15 inches a thick, and Ross only make a hole in it up to 12. <laughs> Hannah Joanna, she. She was a just a wonderful to me. She's a such a nice girl. We got a new skate, so she should teach me how to skate. And 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 then when when I got to home, she said, Luigi, this is the third time we've gone out. Oh, but really, you know, I'm I'm never counted it. <laughs> yes, and after a fella takes a girl out three times, he's entitled to a kiss. He is. Yes. All right, the Joanne, I'm gonna bash for the kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mamma Mia, these American girls uh, think we Italian boys uh, don't uh, know nothing. Ha! So good night, the Mamma Mia. You're loving the son, Luigi Basco, immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal all-family treat to have in your home. It's a healthful, satisfying treat to give the children when they come home from school. It's good to pass around any time to anyone after meals or when you're all sitting around in your living room. And Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is easy on the pocketbook, too. It costs very little for all the long-lasting enjoyment it gives. So treat your family often to healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Put it on your shopping list regularly every week. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is the Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Ash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Schiff as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Mud Buster. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.